Hello, everybody. Welcome to All the Mods 9 to the Sky, episode 19, in which, well, we get this hostile neural network and automate the uh, power production stuff there. So let's hop in and see what all we do. Okay, guys. Uh, I have an idea for today's uh, quest or what we're going to work on today. Uh, the these guys over here, uh, even though they dance and have indefinite uh, source, they are not making me nether stars, and I need nether stars. Lots and lots of nether stars. So we're going to get into hostile neural networks. I need like 15 of these skulls. And I think about 20 of the soul sand should. Wait, uh, 20. Four? I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, we've got the stuff for the withers. So we're going to hop into hostile neural networks. Uh, first thing, get a simulation chamber started. A deep learner. All right, there we go. We got us a deep learner. We're going to need uh, some of these model frameworks here to teach the model frameworks to this, but I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need in total, and a loot fabricator, which takes another right. Kind of expensive, but you know. All right, so that should be the basics for this that we need. Uh, I'm showing you my super cheesy way of fighting the wither here. Getting uh, as many of these withers fought simultaneously. Alright, so we'll wait until those guys form up, and once they do... Eat some steak. Uh, we want to hit this one, at least one of them. So now that it's got the wither data. So we go into the deep learner. We place the data here. And it says, oh, we need six. I think I only got enough for five of these guys. So Quick way of killing them. Using the sword to do so. I'm going to uh, be right back once. Oh, actually, I can do it. I'm fighting these six here. Very simple. Alright. Just three at a time. Yeah, I think I need four times three is five. Okay, so I have enough of those. There's multiple reasons why we want to start having another stars in uh, abundance. One reason being. Uh, I want to get further in power. And the night 
Nitic takes uh, with us. To get all the modium and stuff, we're going to need uh, pretty much another star. So, like I said, we need a lot of another stars here. Alright, so we got us our first set. Alright, so let's put away some of this stuff here. We'll go grab the wither skull heads that we need. Because that's only enough for two. We need three more, so. Alright. Here we go. So, uh... Wither skull heads, wither skull heads. And, well, once we face off with versus this set, it'll change this from faulty to, uh, basic, I think it is. Which we can still keep fighting withers to make it go up higher. Always a possibility here. And we got one over the halfway mark. Trying to get the other two down here. Gotta grind that way at these guys. It's pretty much click, click, click. Where they're killing the clicking machine. Alright. That one's almost done. And the other one's finally halfway down. And I think this has sweeping edge, so I mean. I think one of the things we're going to do this season is make an uh, uh, enchantment setup. Would you guys like to see that? If so, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you want to see me do a weather, uh, an enchantment setup. Alright, so it turns it into a basic model for this. And that's perfectly acceptable. Now we need an exporter. We're going to need uh, some cables. Put away some of this stuff here. The nether stars for right now. So, uh, cables. And how about you make me, I don't know, 16? Should be enough to start with. So 16 of these basic cables. Uh, we have the simulation chamber, the looting chamber, an exporter. Uh, we're going to need an importer. We're going to need a crafting card. Uh, crafting card. Uh, I'll put this to the side. It's got something that I want to do as well if I've got enough time for the do it in this episode. Um, at uh, let's see here, we need uh, pipes. Just one of these guys, and we're gonna need uh, cables. Power cables. Advanced universal cable. That's that's what we need. Alright. We're going to come down here. And uh, let's see here. 
This is just temporary until I figure out the ideal spot I want to place it. Um, place that right there for right now. All right. Uh, built this down this way here. And, uh, on the back of this, I want to stick the power. Two and three. So loot fabricator here, the simulation chamber here. On the simulation chamber, we're going to put an export bus on the top. Uh, with, just give me a second, we'll bring the cables over here, and we're going to tell it, uh, at Hostel, that it can, uh, export prediction matrices. I think that's what we need. We also now need to go into our deep learner, pull out our data model. Cannot begin prediction matrices. Okay, so it's not making any because we need to have a crafting card. And now, so give it a few seconds, you'll see that prediction matrices get tossed in here. It's going to uh, fill up that slot with the uh, prediction matrices. And we're going to get generalized end predict ender predictions. And uh, we're also going to get one other thing. The uh, generalized ender predictions, we're going to get a storage from a functional storage here. A simple oak. Oak drawer here uh, with a void matrix. And we're going to go back down in here. Check. We're going to take uh, some of this. We're going to set this guy right there. And we're going to wrench here till there's nothing there. Uh, we're going to make sure that this has the ender predictions on it with a void upgrade. And we can wrench that. And now, as soon as we get a succeeded, uh, I'll... I'll be right back and show you guys. What what do you have? Uh, yeah, I I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, that's gonna take a little bit, but I did mention that uh, I wanted to upgrade these stuff for power, and I I want to make it easier. So we're gonna set up uh, automation down below here. We're going to, uh, I think right about here should be fine. Um, so I think this should be the two areas that we're going to need. I'm going to set this up here. We're going to set here. Uh, wrench that bottom so it pulls out from here. And then we're going to put the pattern provider on top here. Uh, we're going to say, uh, do not push crafting ingredients if inventory contains a pattern input. Yeah. All right. And now if we hit that right there. It's going to push the ingredients into the orb. So now, 
we can bring some of these cables over here. Uh, we only have, I think, six lasers at this time, so... Yeah, we only have uh, six of these lasers right now. Now, with that done, I'm going to do a little bit of bad wiring here. It's a uh, Not the best wiring we could do, but... Okay, so now, we're going to go up here. We're going to teach it how to make the crystals, okay? So we're going to have it learn Energized Steel, which we're going to um, make it through this method here. We're going to have it turn these blocks, an iron block and a gold block, into this. Uh, I don't know if it knows how to make the iron block or gold block, so... So what this means is we're going to set up in the energized orb this recipe right here. In the molecular assembler, we're going to set up this recipes here. So now uh, we can tell it to make one of these. And it's going to come down here. It's going to push the stuff into there. It must already be done. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And uh, we're going to do that for the Energized Steel, the Blazing Cryothium. Um... with the methods here. Blazing cryothium is made with, you know, a blaze block in there. And how does it make a blaze mesh? Well, it needs blaze rods. Okay. Uh, the niotic. There's that. To get this recipe, it needs this. Uh, wait, these two stay there. All right, uh, to make the diamond, we'll teach it this. You know, just basic auto crafting. And the reason why we're doing it this way is it's going to help us out when we start crafting the final ones. Let's see here. I'm trying to remember. Oh, emerald blocks. Yeah, okay. So. And that is uh, the no, nitro. Hmm. Nitro crystals. Uh, the nitro crystals, we're going to do it this way for the nitro crystals. We'll teach it the redstone block. Uh, and we'll, we'll just set this all up here. So we've got pretty much the start of the auto crafting for this done up. 
And I know I, I'm using one of the extended patterns. There's a reason behind my madness. I, I took a look at how many patterns this has, and it's more than nine. So let's look over here. Okay, so now we've got eight of these wither predictions done. We'll just come along here and set this so that whenever a wither prediction gets done, we have wither st or nether stars. Um, I am going to stick a storage bus on the back of this guy and on here. We're going to need more cables. One second, grab more cables. And there we go. We've got just enough to finish this up for right now. All right, so now we can type in uh, stars. And we see 16 in here. So see that it's pulled all of those ones out. We'll just wait till that gets done. Make some more. Um, so now, let's look at these. Uh, we have one of these rods already niotic. The rest of these are still blazing rods. So what do we need to upgrade the blazing to niotic rods? At power, I can type um, blazing where they're at, and we want to change them up to niotic. So we need to teach it uh, the quartz blocks, uh, the capacitors, and probably the casings. Yeah, we're, we're going to teach you how to make the casings. Uh, we're going to teach you how to make both sets of rods here, as well as the bars. And I think we're going to need more uh, patterns, because that's our first 64 patterns that we've used. So... Let's get 64 more of these made real quick. All right, there's that. Okay, so now we can add power again. Uh, so we've got... Oh, quartz. That, that's what we wanted. And one of the issues is we are almost out of this particular type of quartz. So I'm going to have to look and see what we can do for the quartz. Give me a moment while I figure that one, that, that uh, issue out here. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, after a little bit of uh, checking on the time, we're, uh, we're a little bit uh, further than I want to be. Uh, we've gotten almost a stack of nether stars here while, while waiting. Um, but I'm, I'm getting tired of having to always come up to this to get to my wireless... That threw me off for a split second my wireless terminal here. So what I want to do is start making wireless terminals here. Okay, so we're gonna need, I think, three of those to start with. Uh, one of these, and we're gonna need a wireless access point. We're also going to need a sig Security terminal. We used to need a security terminal. Let 
Maybe not anymore. Okay, so I guess that that's not needed. Uh, but we want to go wireless here. And what we're going to do is get a wireless terminal. So we're going to need a wireless receiver, a terminal, which we can auto craft one of the items for. Okay, so, and an energy cube, which we're going to need eight of these guys. One, two, three, four. Uh, quartz glass. Should have been able to have just made it. All right, so a wireless going to need more fluid dust. Do we know how to make the fluid dust yet? No. Um, use for this. So let's add that to the recipes here. It's just going to be an inscriber recipe. And we can just take this right over here to this guy. And now say we want, I don't know, 128. And that's, that's going to just process there. Going to need two more of these. So we now can make the dense energy. Are you the dense energy cell? The reason why I'm putting it in my inventory is you never know with this. Um, wireless terminal. Here we go. We have the wireless terminal. Let's let's see what what does this need. We need a wireless booster as well. Which we're going to need Ender Pearl Dust. Simple enough. Maybe. Or we just go Ender Pearls. Take, uh, I don't know, eight of them. And bounce over to. here um so we should have interpro dust yes okay so we can make us a booster well a couple boosters all right, so that will complete that quest. This one wants us to make uh, this into a crafting terminal. So can we just add, yeah, we can just add the crafting bench to it to make it a crafting terminal. All right, so uh, we will set this here, put those range boosters in it. Ow. You really want to fight? You really want to fight, huh? Nope, not going to deal with the rest of you. Uh, so now we have, oh, device not linked because we've got to take this and I think we can just link it by right clicking. 
this, or is that only... Yeah, we're going to need a security terminal. Um, give me a second. Got to sleep here. There, that's going to take care of it. Uh, that, that, that applied. There is a, ooh, six mana pool. We're going to have to get into that when we get to Batania. Um, Iocore, Matter Condenser, Energy Acceptor. I, I'm missing it, or I can't see it, guys. Give me a moment, and I'll be right back with it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I was blind. I didn't see this before. You link the terminal there. And now we have access to it wherever, but we've got to charge it real quick. Okay, so enough of a charge. So now we can craft with it and do whatever we want. Now, there is a thing I want to do here is build uh, certain cards for this crafter. Um, but to do the quantum bridge card, we are going to need a couple more of these guys. Um, well, okay, we can get the quantum bridge card, but we're going to need to set up a quantum link. Um, to do that, we're going to need a, what is it called? Singularity. That's what we're going to need. And to make the singularity, we need a matter condenser. We make this matter condenser here. Uh, and I would like a bit of cobble set up that should just flow right into this. And we're going to tell it to condense down to a singularity. And we're going to need a 64K storage. Uh, 64K storage. Wait, that's refined storage. Um, Did I add the wrong things for this? Applied energistics, applied energistics, applied energistics, applied, applied. Applied. Um. Oh wait. These are crafting patterns, so I, yeah, yeah, I messed up with these. Um, yeah. Yeah, those are from, for extra storage. Lovely me. I'm so used to doing that that it didn't even dawn on me. That, that's what I did. I'm so used to using that particular mod, Refined Storage. Um, so 
give me a moment here. So we're going to have to set each of these guys up. 64K, 16K. One K. There we go. Just put these in here. So now we can say sixty four K. It's going to go. OK, I can do that for you. Should be no problem at all knows how to process everything here. Um, I don't know why it did that, but okay. So once we get this 64K here done, it should only take a few more seconds. See, there we go. We got the 64K. We can go in here and set this in here. And this is slow, but surely getting the things uh, what I want to do is at pipes. Okay, I don't have this taught to it. I should probably do that. Is teach the pipe improvements. I might have to do that between episodes, guys. I get this one that drops 64 from in here. There we go. So now it's going, okay, we can do 64 at a time. So now we can see it's going up. But that's for between episodes. We'll work on the rest of this wireless terminate, terminal this epi next episode. And, uh, yeah, we've got some nether stars here. So we can be down here to put this stuff away. And uh, yeah, it's really all we've got for this episode here. We've got the hostile neural network set up for the wire, uh, for the for the uh, wither here. We've got uh, the auto crafting of the power terminals, and we've got the wireless. So three major stepping stones out of the way. So until next time, guys. Later, Gators.